In this short webcast, I am proposing to explain the role that cluster networks play when we configure Windows Server 2008 R2 for live migration over cluster share volumes. In this uh, uh, simple configuration that you're seeing here, I have a two node cluster with uh, uh, one cluster share volume, which is hosted on iSCSI, that's my cluster disk one, on which two virtual machines are running. One hosts my virtual machine manager and the other my test VM that I'm going to use for uh, this particular demonstration. In a simple cluster configuration like this, I have just two network interfaces. A public one, which is authorized uh, uh, for use from the outside world, so clients can connect through this network. And a private one, which is used for cluster heartbeat and CSV traffic. Clients are not allowed to connect to this network. In a real production environment, we normally recommend that you separate the traffic and have uh, four network interfaces, a public, a private for heartbeat and CSV traffic, a nice SCSI network, if you're using iSCSI as uh, your shared uh, storage mechanism, and a live migration network on which the um, live migration traffic passes. So I'm going to illustrate how to configure such an environment. Let's have a look at the function of uh, uh, these two networks. I mentioned this is the public and this is the private. I want to point out in properties that there is an option here to um, prevent the cluster from allowing uh, communications on uh, uh, this particular network. So if you have a four network scenario and you want to dedicate one to iSCSI, I recommend that you click on do not allow cluster network communication on this network. The same thing applies for live migration. You don't want live migration traffic to overlap with heartbeat or cluster share volume traffic, so you want to isolate that particular network by telling the cluster not to use it for its own purposes. The public network on the other end, which is number one, will allow client connection for uh, access to uh, the virtual machines that are hosted on a cluster. In this case, my test VM1, which is happily running on the cluster now. Now, in this simple uh, two network scenario, I said that I wanted to keep the uh, live migration traffic separate from uh, the cluster heartbeat and the CSV traffic. In order to ensure that, I'm going to select my virtual machine, right click on it, and select on properties. You can see a tab here that says network for live migration. In this particular uh, tab, we can select which networks to use and in which order of priority. By default, the network with the second lowest metric will be used for live migration traffic. In this particular case, I just have a public and a private network, and uh, the public network is selected as the first network for live migration. If I add a nice SCSI network that is not selected for use by the cluster, it would still appear in this panel, and I would have to deselect it to prevent iSCSI traffic and live migration traffic from occurring on the same physical wire. So I mentioned that um, live migration will use the second lowest metric network. How do I actually see that particular metric value? Well, we just use the old cluster.exe tool. And for instance, for my private network, I can type this command in an administrator comment prompt, cluster net, name of the network, in this case, cluster network 2, slash prop. And I want to point out um, these last three values here, one of which is metric, metric 1000. It's the weight that is assigned to that particular network connection. Role equal 1 means that the network is used for private traffic only and for CSV traffic. So the CSV traffic will go on the network with the lowest metric that is available at that point in time. Autometric means that this metric value of 1000 is automatically assigned. When you start the cluster, 
the network interfaces are enumerated. Any network interface that uh, has uh, a default gateway configured, so for instance, the public network, which is number one in my case, will get a metric value in the range of 10,000 and over. And uh, any network that has uh, not got a, a default gateway configured is considered as a cluster private network and will get a metric value in the uh, 1000 and over range. If you have more than one public or private network, these values, these metric values, are incremented by 100 in the order in which the networks are enumerated. So for instance, if I had a second private network, its metric would be uh, 1100. The role number here for the private uh, 